Metro Public Works just repainted these yellow lines. They now mark the 10 foot wide buffer zone in front of EMW Women's Surgical Center. They're significant, but it comes after a morning full of confusion. The sound of paint hitting the pavement Wednesday afternoon. It's the second go around for these Metro Public Works employees making the new buffer zone in front of EMW Women's Surgical Center. It's regrettable that we had to go through this sort of false start, but I'm glad we ended up where we need to be. A start riddled with confusion after the yellow lines painted yesterday looked like this Wednesday morning, non-existent. Because nobody knew what had happened to the lines, a lot of people justifiably thought that it had been vandalism, in part because of the long history of vandalism at that location. The culprit, the city itself. Metro Public Works Director Sal Melendez says workers removed the lines because they were initially painted 13 feet apart and not 10 feet, which is what the ordinance allows. So I'm glad that it's now correct and that, um, you know, it can begin to be enforced. Often the site of explosive encounters like these between protesters and women seeking care, the clinic and its supporters have been working on this ordinance, allowing for a buffer zone since 2016. We do hope that that the zone creates a clear path to the door for people um, entering and exiting the facility. It was granted this year by a successful Metro Council vote. Turn the temperature down on the sidewalk. We know that there will still be intimidating protesters. Yelling and screaming is really not enough. A familiar face at protests outside the clinic, Joseph Spurgeon believes the zone will hinder their message. I think what we're worried about is that the uh, escorts, the clinic escorts will stand there and block us from being able to either hand literature to uh, the, the women coming in or to be able to speak to them. But with the history at the clinic, Councilwoman Armstrong thinks it's the right decision. Everyone should have the ability to access health care with safety and dignity being at the forefront. Reporting in downtown Louisville, Gladys Bautista, WOKY News.